people out of the net. Often uh, they are they are not. Uh, uh, so what they did is uh, the FBI acted as a nice uh, Romanian girl, and uh, uh, ah, and he went to Romania to see her. But in fact, that was the FBI. Them and they arrested him in Romania. And as we already know, Romania is good friends with uh, America because they got a lot of money from America. Right? They got, uh, now they, uh, Romania got into NATO. Uh, if uh, Romania did what America uh, asked them to do, they would get into NATO. That was the deal. So uh, Romania got into NATO, and in, uh, in, in, in a trade-off, they gave uh, Dutch people to America. For huh? and uh, so now he went to America. It was of course uh, it just it just was in February, not so it's just a few weeks ago, uh, and he has to go to jail for uh, twelve years. Huh? You had a question. I had a remark about your little police story. Oh yeah. Okay. You're talking too much. Oh. Um, little advice on acting with any kind of police, whether here in Germany in the U.S. I, if they accuse you of something, they have to tell you that, they have to arrest you. Uh, they usually only have a limited time in Germany, it's uh, 48 or 72 hours, I think, yeah. they can hold you without uh, judge's notice. In the US it's 24 hours, I don't know how long it is in the Netherlands. But uh, they have to tell you what you're arrested for, and basically as soon as they tell you that they're suspecting you of something, first word should be, I want a lawyer. And if you're not in your home country, meaning Netherlands in your case mostly, um, I want contact to the embassy, yeah, and not a word more, because anything you say, they will twist. Oh yes, definitely. They will get you with that. Yes, yeah. but uh, Germany is uh, very correct on this. I know this. No, uh, that's, I, I, that's 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 a total bull. Yeah. Germany is not correct because we don't have a fruit of the poison tree doctrine, so they can basically nearly do anything with you. Um, German courts are a little bit cautious when it. Uh, cautious when it comes to torture, so we have this one case of uh, <laughs> child molester <laughs> being, yeah. being tortured yeah. uh, because they thought the child was still alive. But um, yeah, in my opinion, the police president who authorized the torture um, only got a slap on the back. He, he was ejected, but yeah, and if, if they find something illegally, so if they decide, well, let's just illegally <coughs> search the wrong house because, well, yeah. 42, 43, we're not good with numbers. And they find something, for example, yeah. your cannabis growing field thingy for your own personal use, they can get you on that. Even yeah. the, uh, the uh, search was. You see, huh? it's, it's everywhere. That's also in the Netherlands. Um, uh, agencies that deal with it are, for example, uh, Homeland Security in America, uh, US Cybercom in America, Unit 8200 in Israel. Uh, it's just or, yeah, but well, it's somewhere here. There's the center, but this is the closest you can get. Uh, our European pride, huh? And Nisa, that's somewhere in Greece, I don't know, like Crete or Cyprus, somewhere there. Our pride. This is in uh, London. Yeah, now, that looks like something. Foxy in Russia. Ah, <laughs> they, have, uh, they have the right stuff. And uh, Unit 61398 in China. That's the zip code, I think. Uh, no, not that you wonder why that number. But, uh, uh, yeah, this is the building in China that they do their cyber hacking and stuff. Huh? Uh, at least that's what they said. Uh, not uh, China, that's what uh, Western countries say. Uh, bomb nets, of course, we have already talked about it, is uh, a big source of uh, uh, problems. Tor, of course, I think we all know uh, Tor, uh, the, the, the overlay network over the internet to get some uh, anonymity. <coughs> In itself, a very uh, uh, good network, nothing wrong with Tor. The problem is that it is used a lot by people who uh, do bad things. Um, uh, for example, uh, Silk Road is, a, is, a, is an example where you can buy all sorts of uh, drugs and well, weapons. And no, no weapons anymore. No weapons no. anymore? No. They took it off? It's not only software, uh, it's also all sorts of hardware <coughs> devices to uh, tap or uh, 
uh, do all sorts of uh, horrible, well, malware. Huh? Um, logic bones, a software that is uh, programmed to do something at a specific time, something which is uh, uh, less legal at a specific time. Uh, this is a funny one. This is a funny one. Because uh, using this site, let's be honest, if you use this site, usually you are doing something which is in the gray area, to say the least. Uh, but this is also used by, uh, by, by other, by people who are far worse than, uh, of course none of us use this, but let's say there are people who use this, and uh, they, they just want to copy a movie, they want to copy some software, but there are people who are out there doing far worse things. And they put uh, a software in here to, uh, uh, to, to hijack your computer or to do bad things with your computer <laughs> and uh, steal your credit card information. But it's kind of funny, it's kind of ironic that the people who use this are already in a kind of gray area, to say the least. <laughs> of course, and for the Netherlands, yay! I don't know about other countries too much, but I know about the, in the Netherlands, it's legal. Huh? to download uh, music. <coughs> Movies and software is not allowed to download. Music is allowed to download. And it has to do with uh, uh, the law in the Netherlands that uh, in the Netherlands, every item you buy on which you can copy music, like a hard disk or a CD or something, you pay a little bit of tax that's going to the copyright uh, office. Yeah. We do the same thing in Germany, but you're still not allowed. You're still not allowed, but they still take the money, huh? Yes, and they want more now. That's crazy. Yeah, the same here in the Netherlands. It's crazy. I, 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 um, uh, I think our copyright laws are outdated and stupid. But that's uh, my personal opinion, so uh, that's... Uh, um, <coughs> but, okay, that's, that's a big question. So I agree with the Dutch. I'm very happy that it's, it's, it's semi-legal to do it. But, of course, you are in a gray area. If you, if you download software from here, uh, you shouldn't have done that at my law. And uh, but of course, you should also not be a victim of someone that uh, invading your computer and stealing your data and maybe abusing your computer. So it is. Uh, we are uh, for science. We are now getting to uh, to ethics more deeper into ethics. Fine. Yeah. Well. This is all the context that why the, the, the issues that we have to deal with. We have uh, legislation, we have all sorts of uh, crime going on, and uh, how do we deal with that as, uh, as, as forensic, forensic investigators, as in the field of forensic? For example, there, is, uh, there are code of ethics. You see here the code of ethics from, uh, from IEE. Reject bribery. Treat fairly all persons regardless of such factors as race, <coughs> religion, gender. Yeah, these are just rules, huh? But I think these rules will not help us in every case that we come. These are too specific. We need, we need more guidance in how to take uh, moral decisions. And I, we are about to get to them. How to make a, a sound moral, a moral decision. And I, I hope we can... Well, I hope you can work, uh, you will see today that uh, or feel better at making such a decision. If we uh, if we look at the uh, the paradigm, the the culture, the, the what we are, uh, we are we are a social group. Uh, and we are here a social group, let's say a social group, the European Union. Then ethics, or what is good, because ethics is between, more or less between good and bad, between left or right, making decisions. But which, which decision should we take? What's the best decision to make? But that depends on what, what we are as a social group in, uh, in, 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 in Muslim countries, they will make different decisions than here, more likely. Uh, in America, they will make different decisions than here, or in Muslim countries, or in India. Why? Because they have a different world that they live in. They have a 
ethics is not black and white. There is no absolute ethics. There is no, I'm sorry if, if, if I shatter your world now, but there is no absolute right and wrong. Uh, uh, it is all <coughs> relative to the group. Now we as a group decide what is right and wrong. And it depends on the group what is right and wrong. And, uh, and, and it's a very scary, it's a slippery slope. This is what I mean with uh, judging people in Thailand. It's a slippery slope to put our ethical and our moral norms onto a different group. Because they have their other reasons and they sh shouldn't they be allowed to have their own ideas. Uh, this is the cultural web. I like it a lot because it says the truth or the paradigm, huh? the real world, the real way we think is very difficult to grasp. This is from a uh, this is from an English uh, <coughs> professor, and uh, she came up with these. And she said, uh, "This is very difficult to capture." But she said, "You can see it in these uh, six uh, um, areas. Huh? You can see how what routines are there, what stories are told. If you look at America." For example, the stories that go around, uh, it's cool man, we went into uh, Iraq and we shot all these Iraqis and I was driving with a Hummer and uh, that, 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 these are the kind of stories that they like. I, I come to you in a minute. Uh, but if you go to Europe, we say, well my car only uses uh, uh, one liter of uh, petrol in, uh, in 100 kilometers and, uh, uh, and it's a totally different world. <coughs> And uh, he was so nice to me. No, it's, a, it's a different content. It's different stories. And if you go here, power structure. Who has the power? The real power. Not the power that they say there is. But who has the real power? Uh, the organizational structure. Uh, how is that done? Uh, uh, it's very funny that uh, in America, they have, for example, if you, if you compare America and Europe, in America, the organizational structure is, uh, puts a lot of of uh, power or a lot of part, a large part of the organization is very low, it's very local. Much in, in Europe, it's much more centralized. Uh, it's, it's very interesting. But the power is, is quite the opposite. In America, the power is, is very much at the top. And in Europe, the power is, is, is much lower, uh, <coughs> much more local. Yeah, it's, it's very funny to see these things. Uh, symbols. Uh, what symbols are we looking at? What symbol? Uh, in, in the Netherlands, we have symbols like uh, windmills and uh, wooden shoes. Yeah. And uh, in America, they have the you know, automatic rifle and Hummer and, uh, and, and, and Hollywood uh, and big houses. Symbols. It, it tells something about about their world. Did you have a question? No. Uh, it is about values and norms. Values are general uh, values that we have, like caring, eh? or uh, uh, we should be honest, uh, we should not kill. Eh? That's, that's values that we have. It's very general. A value is not specific. It's a value is, is a general idea. And uh, they are important. Eh? You should not kill. You should obey the laws. These are nice values. If you look at the Netherlands, I would say that these are values that we can find here. Huh? You should obey the law and you should not kill. Everyone kind of, most people in the Netherlands have these values. Um, but the norm makes it explicit. The norm says, yeah, you should not kill. But I am attacked in the street. Someone with a gun, someone with a knife is attacking me. And he keeps attacking me and nothing I can do is making him stop. Should I not kill? Should I not steal? Or uh, I should obey the law. I should obey the law. But the law says me, you have to drive. <laughs> uh, a good example on the road between Amsterdam and, uh, and Utrecht. You should drive 100 kilometers, not faster. And uh, I heard a, a lawyer say, well, that is almost a superhuman thing to do. I mean, on a six lane road, a <laughs> hundred kilometers an hour. That's, that's not possible. You need to be super to do that. Yeah. So uh, I think the norm is uh, maybe you can go a little bit faster. And when it comes to stealing, 
I have a very bad picture, but uh, uh, mm -hmm. when it comes to stealing, what if you have no food for your children? No food. And uh, you go to Albert Heijn and steal a little bit of bread. It's, 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 yeah? What if you have enough food for your children? And you steal a little bit of bread. And you steal from those who don't. Yeah. 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 So that's happening. Huh? It's yeah. happening. We had breakfast, they don't, and it's mostly related. Exactly, yes. So, uh, but these are about norms. Huh? So the, uh, the values are very general. Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt be friendly, thou shalt be, and so on. These are the Ten Commandments. But they are very general. And the norms say exactly how far can we go. How far should we not kill? Maybe kill a little, or whatever. Huh? Uh, it's, it's, yeah. Um, I, uh, I have a, because we are almost there, uh, you need to be in uh, at uh, NFI, eh? yep. yeah. at uh, 1 o'clock, I think. Huh? Yeah. Can we... 12.45. Uh, Sorry? 12.45. Ah, 1 o'clock, I think. 12.45. Uh, 12.45. Yeah. Okay. Can we, uh, can we use another half hour? No. Okay. no. 20 minutes. 15 minutes? 15 minutes was per. Um, I, I personally, we have uh, a proposal by Al for a trip. But yeah. That trip terminates at 12.46 at NFI. And I would personally recommend taking an earlier trip to have some buffer zone in case of yeah. failure. And when do we need to leave then? Ideally now. Now, <laughs> uh, because um, the plan sent by up, if yeah. any train is late, we miss anything, not the whole group comes with one train, whatever, then we have an issue. Okay, then uh, I, I, want, I have two more slides, and they're very important, so we need to do them. Uh, and then uh, I, I will give you something for in the train, you can read it and uh, think about it. Uh, I have two uh, cases. In one case, you are the train driver of a train. And you are driving downhill in, uh, in Austria. And the brakes go out. So you, you drive down, down the hill, no brakes. And you, you control a switch. You are in the train, but you are able to control the switch. You can go left or right. And if you go uh, left, there's a safety tunnel which will stop the train. However, of course, just now, there are three people working in that track, and uh, uh, in, that, in that tunnel. So if you take that tunnel, these three people, will, they will certainly die, they have no place to go. If you take the right track, you can also take the right track, which goes to an open field, which is fine, but you know that the schedule, your colleague is always on time, and he will come with another train from the other side. Both trains are empty. That's your, you are on the only driver. If you take the other track, you will kill your colleague. <coughs> what should you do? Left or right? Kill the colleague. So killing is okay. Why? Why? Yeah. Actually, the point is that killing is not okay. So you aim for less killing. You only have the choice between killing and killing. But you have one less killing and one more killing. Exactly. <laughs> try to get closer to the norm of not killing. Exactly. This is very good. Uh, you say, well, the the uh, the cause of my action will lead to one death, extra death, because you will die as well. Will lead to one death, <coughs> three death. And uh, so uh, I will go to that option which has the the, the least impact or is the least uh, worst option. Now, next case. I am a, I'm a, I'm a judge, I'm, a, I'm a, uh, a surgeon. And a surgeon is about to do surgery on a patient. And you are about to do it and you speak to your colleague as you are washing your hands. And your colleague says, ah, it's horrible. I have three other patients of mine and they are about to die. They all need uh, something. Uh, that one needs a heart and the other one needs a kidney and the other one also needs a kidney. And you know, wait a minute, my patient who has a very minor uh, uh, injury. Uh, my patient has a perfect heart, <coughs> and perfect kidneys for these two people, for these three people. So
So what you can do is just harvest these items out of that person and save three people. So you can you can you can sacrifice this one patient of yours, which would normally survive, uh, in order to save three others. What do we do? We kill the three. Yeah. No, they're all the same age. That it's in here. Uh, it's uh, really? but they are. Still, what about their ages? It's just seventy. Thirty. Thirty. Yeah. This is a constructed problem to show the moral dilemma between the first example and the second example, and basically the construction step fails at the point where you do not have necessity for both cases at the same time. So basically, um, in the first case, you have either death yeah. or death. Yeah. In the second case, you just have death. You don't have death there but in both directions. It's still one person against three. It's still one person yeah. against three, yes. But it's not um, necessi necessarily one person dying or three persons dying. Exactly. The the, the reason we don't we go we kill the other three is that there's something stronger than the co than the, the cause. Huh? So uh, we say that first of all we don't kill this person because he has a right to live huh? and his right to live and his right to decide himself whether he gives up his organs or not. That is his not not the the, the the surgeon should decide whether his organs to go to other people. <coughs> That person should decide. Huh? So these are the final slides. You have uh, uh, ethics based on principles, and that is in the case of the surgeon. The principle is that you have to decide for yourself what you do with your organs, not the surgeon. That is a, that's a basic principle. Uh, it's like the Ten Commandments. I am the owner of my body. And uh, I should not be killed. I decide myself. I have the right to live. And that is stronger than consequence ethics. Consequence ethics was the other example. That you say, well, look, if I do this, I kill one person or one person dies. If I do this, three people die. That's consequence. And you said very correctly that principle-based ethics is stronger kind of should uh, exceed uh, the, 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 the consequence based ethic. Anyway, I, I, I want to finish this so we can uh, go. If you make a moral decision, there, this is the way to go. You have to consider who are all the stakeholders. Uh, in these two cases, it was easy. Because these two people and the other people. Uh, you have to consider who are the stakeholders. You have to consider all valid arguments for both options for all options that you have and then you have to to make a, a judgment and you have to, to weigh and you have to consider that principle based arguments have preference so they go first and if you have very good principle based arguments that's the, they weigh heavy and you should go that way now that's that's the uh, the uh, that is how uh, you can make uh, uh, a, a good, or how do you say, uh, a, a moral decision that you can argue, and that you can say, okay, I, I made a decision based on these grounds, and that is why we call it. Okay, I want to uh, uh, thank you for your attention. I have uh, two more cases, as you can see. I want, to, I want to give them to you, so you can read them. They're not mandatory to do, but uh, really think about them and try to uh, answer these questions in, uh, in these three ways. Who are the stakeholders? What are arguments for both stakeholders? And which way should we go? And they're interesting. I mean, they're interesting cases. OK, I wish you a lot of fun at the NFI. Did you have something that we need to discuss or not? Uh, I wish you a lot of uh, fun at the NFI. <coughs> And uh, here's a case for, uh, uh, I will put it here, you can just speak for all of